Good morning. Happy Monday. This is video attempt number three. Yes. So I record and then I look at the videos and then I'm like, oh, uh, nah. <laughs> so hopefully this one will be up to standard. So this morning I was meditating and as I was meditating, I wrote a poem and I will read it to you shortly. But just to bring it to the forefront, it's been a while since I've been regu regularly meditating and, and putting myself in check. Um, I would say it may be quite like a year. Um, I attend Unitarian Universalist Church of Clearwater, which is awesome, by the way. I love it there, and unfortunately, the last several months, I have not been going. And you know what? Quite frankly, I have noticed a difference. I have not been mindful of my actions, of my thoughts. And, you know, not to say I'm perfect. Nobody's perfect. But I feel as though when we <clears throat> have a place to go to meditate, whether it's at home or at a place of worship, I feel as though it really helps us to really be more mindful and reflect more. And so anyways, back on track, I was meditating and I wrote this poem. I feel like it's a poem that everybody can relate to. So what brought me to blogging recently? Well, first thing is my schedule opened wide up during the day, which is a good thing. At first, I was heartbroken. I cried for two days. But the decision that I made to stay home during the day so that I could be here for Joey if he needed me, my three-year-old son, um, or to be home to keep the house clean and organized and laundry, all that fun stuff, I feel for a family is important. When we come home to a messy house or an unkept house or laundry piled up, it just adds more stress. And most of us have enough of stress in our lives just because of the way life is nowadays. Um, that's just not something that I want to add to my family if I can prevent it. So that's those are the reasons why I decided to stay home during the day. But along with that, what happened was it gave me more time to reflect, to meditate, to write, to write my poems, to work on my book, to study, uh, because I will be studying a lot here soon. I will be taking some tests and um, very nervous about, by the way, but, um, so I wrote this poem and I'm going to read it now and then I'll explain what I meant by it, which I don't think will be difficult for you to know. When you feel like your plan has been crushed or pushed to the side, someone took your stride, don't hide, but find your reason again. It was once said, you, my friend, will make a bend where it ends. No longer a dead end, but hands that will mend. It's your season, your reason. Just believe it and go for in it. You are the hope to holding the light in it. So a lot of times what happens, which happened to me recently, was I felt my dreams were crushed because I love working in the fitness industry and I love actually doing this as well. Um, I feel like our mental, emotional, and physical health are all intertwined. Um, and I know how important fitness is for me, how it helps me feel healthy in my mind and in, in my emotions. And I've come across quite a few people in, in my career so far that related to me in personal experiences and, you know, that actually opened up about their experiences. And I was able to 
share my story, how, yes, I'm a survivor of trauma as well. And fitness has been a huge part of my healing journey. And so when the recent impact of having to change how working in the fitness industry, what that meant for me, I was crushed. But guess what? Everything's okay. It all works out. I'm still going to be working in the fitness industry in the evenings, a couple hours at night, Monday through Friday, and that's okay. It's a time for me to learn, a time for me to grow in that part of my life so that down the road, I will have gained as much knowledge, knowledge as I can to be a wonderful fitness instructor, personal trainer for those that I will come across. Um, so keep in mind that it may seem like the end, but it's not. And there really is never an end in the road. And you can be used to make a bend in the road for somebody else with your words, with your actions, um, with your time. Maybe that bend in the road for somebody else is something positive you say to them. Maybe they're feeling like they just want to give up. And by you just saying, you can do it or come on, keep pushing, you're strong. And they end up doing something they never thought they could do because of something that you said. Maybe that end in the road is somebody, or maybe somebody feels the end of the road is um, they lost somebody very special in their life, but you are somebody special in their life that can birth new love and and words of hope, and you would be that person, not so to really replace, but to be there for them and to help them see the bend in the road. Whatever it is, I want you to know that you are a reason. You, this is your season. I don't care where you are at your life. There's always something. It may seem small, but it's not going to be small for whatever it is that you're doing or for whoever it is that you're doing it for or reaching out to. We all have a reason every day, every moment. And we need to open our eyes to that. We need to be more mindful and look for those reasons. So that's it. I just want you to know that there's always a bend in the road there's always another way. There's always somebody that somebody's reason you are, or there's always somebody there for you to be a reason to, to speak hope into. That's it. So I just want to say again, keep moving to a stronger you so that you can be strong for somebody else. Have a great day.